you are Monster Jean? Uh, I don't know if I remember him doing anything particularly spectacular. In a lot of ways, this map has been thoroughly broken um, by an approach I came up with. It's possible that he doesn't need to use any shenanigans, though. He can just steamroll over the enemy and not use clever backdoor tactics. This is unusual that he's attacking from this side, but the log jam here must be such that he thinks that's faster. He's also denying vision. It's unusual to kill that turn one. So he's gonna force his way across the river. And now oh look at that. See this is new. He's he's using the train system. No one has used the train system as well in Normand. It's something that should be looked at more. What I'm surprised about is that their cavalry. Maybe the cavalry can't reach this. But this cavalry is active. I'm surprised he could allow this. Often struggle. Oh, this swapped that, and that's why the cavalry. So that cavalry stays around the victory X. That's why you can get away with it. He used the spotting on this to spot the storm panzer, which is something that could actually pull the cavalry out, which has always been an issue for me on this side. That's a good. That's a new tactical trick for this map. Yeah, if I play Dijon now, I only bring one fighter. Usually. I kind of figure that out myself, though, because there's only two planes on this map. Yeah, this must be one of those units that moves around the Victory Hex, which is convenient because then you can show things and they won't attack. So the cavalry has to go in and engage in combat. Yeah. Very slick movement. I think he's got a movement plus one on that. Now what the fighter was doing here, I don't know. Like why would the fighter go that way? So in two turns he collapses this. That's really good. Oh! He put the artillery on a river hex. So that's gotta be the juiciest target. Okay. If you're not impressed with Armand's 
uh, positional play and the, the level of planning involved, you do not understand what you're looking at. He had to keep the scout alive twice in order for it to have spotting on artillery and on river axe to pull the fighter to it, and then he put his fighter in the flight path. And that was just one thing that he did on this map to make that work. Damn, he got this on turn three. That's really fast. If that's dug out enough, it can't retreat to the swamps. Yep, good trick. And then he's, he is sending a paratrooper. Or he's sending somebody south. Oh, he is using this trick. Okay. He's just not as fast about it. Okay, he sent Oladir or something down there. Um, yeah, that's a good deal. People, don't, don't underestimate trains and uh, plane transports as a way to work around speed limitations. So this tank will attack? Uh, what's his plan for that? Oh, okay. Yeah, these attack plus six Dukas. He has, it's crazy that on this map he has enough time to farm his scout. I just, I find that highly amusing. It's good for the Panzer Jaeger. Why? I'm curious why the cavalry didn't attack the tank. I find that kind of confusing. Because it's in a forest hex. Airfield. Yeah. This is perfect logistics planning. <laughs> oh, and I see what's happening. The part of his plan was to have the tank help with the surrender. I I almost wish he had a session where he was like, This is how I know sixteen moves down the line that my units have to be on this square. Like this level of planning, I don't know I don't even think I've seen Soren do this level. There's a crazy amount of coordination involved here. It, it hurts my brain to even think about it. 
man, if you have perfect coordination, look how far this is. So he's prepared for the counterattack now. And almost all the cavalry is gone. turn six he's gonna get this this is the fastest I've ever seen he grabs that airfield on turn six Wow that's a major benefit yeah there's definitely uh, movement like positional improvements that he's done and the way to the west of Dijon is opened. He is about to put the noose on the enemy here. With no air defense, the entire region is ripe for tactical markers. Ow. he leave the anti tank this is a good trap I should you should definitely use this one everyone can do it the scout on the hill is really good bait oh he left spotting on this so the cavalry would run into the tank the counterattack is finally arriving from the south to grab that back. Okay. So, what's cool about his approach is that the infantry didn't have a chance to entrench in the forest. He's meeting them on turn 6 which is as fast as they can get there. This is, this is wildly efficient. Only this mountain unit got into a good spot. This guy. That's the only unit that actually got to a good spot. Oh my god, he pulls out another... This is... Wow, is this efficient. So, wow. Yeah. I, I have to admire this. This is a work of art. And the uh, char B is almost completely suppressed. So, look at that prestige. Yeah. 
that, and this airfield lets him bomb, bomb away. units are going to be forced surrendered next turn. And he only has two active units after that. take out the artillery. And then this is gonna slot in. Yep. So that guy goes down. So he gained, uh, I think 37 prestige from that. You got 62 from that. Thirty-five or forty-five from that. So in nine turns he wiped out the entire counterattack and most of the units in the Dijon area. I dare anyone to do better. to black. I wonder if he's trying to farm on the river, and that's what he's preparing for. farm on this. Yeah, the AI wants to buy stuff, but just can't do it. I notice he's not 
uh, farming it on the river, because probably it's too hard to avoid killing it. Isn't it? So he would probably have killed that unit way earlier if he was farming it on the river. He's gonna break 24,000 just off of surrenders. Okay, now, so the final two turns will farm. And he has 24,000 prestige. Okay, so he, he finally had enough farming that. You can see his prestige is just blowing up. Ending it a turn early. He farmed and ended it a turn early. I don't know what to say about that. Uh, that's just a thorough butt kicking.